Hello y'all. Welcome to part 10 of my Country Ball Catch Em All playthrough. Country Ball Catch Em All is a ROM hack for the game Pokemon Fire Red. And in part 9, we made our way through Kairut, Sierra Arabia, which is a city, the Sheikdom Sands, and now we're in the tomb of Anubis. We just recently, in the, at the end of part 9, we had a battle, and also in part 9, we called a Martinique and a Wild Cocos Islands as our country balls. I think they're on our team. Let me check here. Go to countries, and they should be in our party. Here, there, there they are, right at the top, Cocos Isles and Martinique. They're on our team. I think Martinique's a water type. Cocos Islands is a grass type, maybe? Anyway, let's continue. We have Russian Empire acting as our front country ball here. We're going to have a battle to the right. Let's fight this person. This is someone, a Sir Arabian type trainer. They have said, they're saying, have you noticed anything strange about this place? I mean, yeah, the floor is not here. A little odd. This is supposed to be a pyramid. Well, it's, I think it is the tomb of Anubis at the very least. Let's fight Sarabian Abdal. He's going to send out Bovitia. Bovi I don't know where that's at. I guess that's in Norway. Like, maybe it's a island in Norway. I'm not entirely sure. Let's use tactical IED, though. They're a water... Oh, no, that's a water type. Why did I do that? That's a mistake. It's not very effective, but they took, like, half HP damage, so okay. They use broadside. Ouch. Russian Empire's a fire type is going to take some bad damage there. It was a super effective move the broadside was. Let's use Blast just to take him out. There we go. And Botovitia was forced to faint. 297 EXP points for Russian Empire. Now they're sending out Austria. Wow, what is Austria? What type are they? I'm going to see here. Austria is a... They are a... What? They're a grass poison type. Wow. I think so. Yeah. Use tactical ID because of vulnerability to grass. Austria should not be that hard to take out. They're level 18. They got one shot by the level 31 Russian Empire due to their typing. Though Austria is fainted, Russian Empire gained 582 EXP points. Good, he'll be level 32 soon. Sarabian. Sarabian Abdal was defeated. What does he have to say? Nothing strange about that. And yeah, this is a very strange place. This tomb of Anubis is supposed to have a lot of treasure or something. Let's talk to this guy, though. He says, this tomb is hiding something. And I'm going to find out what. So let's go over here to the... That's a cliff. Why did I do that? I gotta restart. Why did I move like that? Don't move crazily. Let's see what this guy is up to on the right side. He has an interesting looking outfit. Is he a trainer? Yeah, I think he's the type of trainer. Ahoy there, plundering for my gold? I mean, I don't know if it's your gold. It's like a. What are they? They're a. You are challenged by Swashbuckler and Bonnie. Okay, so we're find pirates in a pyramid, I guess. This is Tonga. They are a water type, so have the Russian Empire just use Blast and try to just smash them apart with that move. Blast is, it does like half HP. Tonga uses Channel Mines, which is going to be super effective. I won't be surprised if Slash Buckler trainers just use water types, which would be very annoying because our Russian Empire is our best country ball. And yeah, they took out Tonga. We gained 301 EXP points on the Russian Empire for that. And Bonnie is now going to send out Neru, which is a water type. Yes, I don't know what's vulnerable to the... Actually, keeping what we have. Keeping what we have, yeah. We'll do that. And Bonnie sent out Nauru, and that's a water type. Use Blast on them, which is a normal type move. And that does like half HP nearly. Nauru uses North Fist. That's a level... They're level 17 to do a little bit of damage to the Russian Empire. Like 1 HP each time that move hits them. It's not really doing much at all. Even though I think it's supposed to be... It's not very effective. I think it's an Ice type move hit four times. Oh well, he's Blast. That may explain why it's not very effective. Naru, for some reason, has an Ice-type move. Has a purely Water-type. It's just an interesting thing in their move set, I guess. North Fish just is not useful here. But they're gonna go down on this Blast attack now. Blast, please. And they're forced to faint. That's the second Country Ball for Anne Bonnie down. 352 experience points for Russian Empire. Now level 32. Nice. Swashbuckler Anne Bonnie is sitting out in Maldives which is a water type. Let's not change country balls, stay in the field. If they're low level, we can probably one-shot them. And there's Maldives, Maldives, they're a poison water type. Use tactical IED. No, that's not gonna be it, why'd I do that? That was a bad idea. Okay, actually, it was a critical hit, so that works out. But it's not very effective, unfortunately. If they, they were more vulnerable to it, they used wire trap. Ouch. Let's use blast and end this. Russian Empire out paces the Maldives, Maldives. He was gonna be taken out and the Russian Empire gained 382 experience points. Terrific. And Bonnie was defeated. And what she had to say? Shiver me timbers! We got 544 Poke Dollars from that. Okay. 
Why she had the sentry beat her? Going back to the captain empty-handed is going to hurt me. Oh, reputation. Well, oh well, you shouldn't have lost there, I guess. So let's go to our backpack. I gotta heal up the Russian Empire, who's basically carrying this team, if you look at the levels of the other country balls we have. Throw it at the Russian Empire, give them a happy meal. That's like 20 HP. Give them a second happy meal. A second happy meal. Yeah, there we go. Second happy meal really helped them out. They're almost back now at full HP. That's good. Now let's run, run along here. Just run around. Gotta find... What says that's a, some kind of sarcophagus. Not important, I guess. And where am I gonna go? Where am I supposed to go, really? Not entirely sure. I gotta keep looking around for something. I go up to the north out of pepper spray. Oh, I had pepper spray with me. I didn't even realize that. That pepper spray is good for avoiding wild Pokemon, weak wild Pokemon. There's a Peru in here. They are grass poison types, so Russian Empire can one shot them, essentially. One shot them, please, Russia. You got this. So I guess we go up to the north. I think that's where we gotta go. Super effective move there. That's done. And yeah, they fainted. 111 EXP points. Let's go up to the north, see if that takes us anywhere. Okay, we have a ladder. Go up, up the ladder, well, down the ladder, or up, I don't know. Tomb of Anubis, we're still in the Tomb of Anubis. Let's fight this Sir Arabian trainer here. He's gonna fight us. Yeah, there they are. Prepare to meet your doom. Prepare to meet your doom. I guess they didn't want to say prepare to meet your doom. And Sir Arabian, this is challenge Sir Arabian Matek. Matek sent out Laos. Laos is a fighting type, I think. Russian Empire can one-shot them, hopefully. Just use... Blast, please. I don't have to use our other moves. They did like half HP to use in Snare. Great critical hit, though. Let's use Blast again. It's not going to be enough to take them out, but it's whatever. Very close, though. Lyles uses Assault. It does like... Wow, that's a pretty good amount of damage. Not going to lie. Use Blast, though. Take them out. Works for me. 390 XP points for the Russian Empire. My tech is sitting out in Nauru, which is a water type. Well... It's a water type that knows a lot of ice moves for some reason. At least it knows North Fist, which is an ice type move. And it likes to use it. So use... Why did I use Tactical IED? That's a fire type move. It's not very effective, but it almost one-shot them. So there's that. They got, they got hit with burn also. Crazy. So they might burn out after that turn. They're hurt by the burn. They're gonna just burn out. No, they didn't. Oh, don't use Tactical IED. I hit it too fast. Great. Well, they're fainted now, even though it's not very effective. Terrific. Now we fainted. Russian Empire gained 373 XP, EXP points. Matek was defeated. What does he have to say? I got my just desserts. I got just deserts. I got my just deserts. And he said, meet your doom. No, those are terrible. Those are terrible puns. We got 1,080 Hokey Dollars. What does he have to say? It's all pun in the sun until you get burned. Yeah, that's one way to say it. And this is a random wild encounter. This is a Tajikistan. I don't want to have to fight you. I really don't. I'm just going to probably retreat from this battle because it's not worth the fight random random country balls I don't I already have stuff for that's a trainer there is there anywhere anywhere up here and go around I think not I'm just gonna keep running into wild stuff hey look there's a Roveta Rovitoya whatever they're a water type don't one shot them please Russia use something use flank I think they're not gonna be very vulnerable to flank but we'll see if they get one shot to get one shot I like to catch it they are okay it's not very effective good we need to catch them though and the attack of the Russian Empire rose. Blavetha used Channel Mines. It's going to do a little bit of damage to the Russian Empire. We have 52 HP right now, and now we're down to 47. That's like 5 HP loss against a level 12. Let's go get a Town Ball, which is the Pokeball of this ROM hack. Throw it at that Blavatoya and can't catch it, please. That's all we got to do. It's level 12, so hopefully you can just stay in there. Don't escape, please. Don't escape the trap. I mean, the Town Ball. We called them. Good. And now they're going to go into our flag book. Yeah, they're going to go to our flag book. Number 60, Volcanic Country, Bulvatoya. Once considered the most remote island on Earth, Bulvet Island has been ruined by a certain proxy friend with no name. Interesting. Give a nickname to the captured Bulvatoya? No. Bulvatoya was transferred to someone's PC. It's going into storage, basically. Placed in box one. Okay, let's continue exploring. Fight something else here. May have to fight that trainer in a second. Oh, what are you? That's a... Oh, wow. That's a Lichtenstein. I want to catch you for sure. You're Ice and Fairy, I think. Just do a little bit of damage. Use Blast on them. Hopefully they don't get one shot. Please don't get one shot, please. Okay, that's enough. Lichtenstein used Infiltrate. That's not going to do too much. Critical hit, though. 42 HP left on the Russian Empire. Use the Town Ball on them. Capture you and add you to my collection. That's what we're going to do for you, with you, sure. Well, surely. Lichtenstein escaped. 
Great, so let's try that again. Lichtenstein's gonna use Infiltrate once more. Ouch. Use the Poke Town Ball again. We have 15 of them. Just keep tossing at them until they stay in there. Don't escape. Don't escape. Please don't escape. Okay, they escaped. Great. I don't know what I expected to happen. Lichtenstein used to infiltrate once more. Stop infiltrating stuff. It's annoying. Now the Russian Empire is paralyzed. Great. Maybe unable to move. That's what I get for trying to capture everything that I see. I do want to capture it, but I can't really get it if it keeps doing that stuff. It uses infiltrate once more. Very annoying. We used flank. And that's going to do a little bit of damage to Lichtenstein. Probably going to one-shot. Well, take care of them. Yeah, they're down. Super effective move on the Ice Fairy type, I think they are. And yeah, they're gone. Lichtenstein is defeated. I wish I could have called it, but they just want to stay in the Town Ball. I'm going to have to try my luck on another one, maybe. Let's heal up the Russian Empire, though, in our backpack. Go to items. Items. Use the, use the Happy Meal on the Russian Empire. 20 HP is basically a potion. One more potion should do it. We ran out of PP, though. That's a problem. With the Russian Empire currently, because they just don't have enough. What? They don't have enough. They don't have enough PP to keep using tactical IED, which we're very reliant on. And we have a trainer battle here with this guy who says, "Oh yeah, I'm fired up. Who are you? You are. Your name is. Well, you're. Uh, you were challenged by Cliffman David. Cliffman sent out Laos. Okay, so he's going to use Laos. That's a fighting type. Let's use tactical IED on that." On that country ball. Hope it works. I used assault. Ouch. Russian Empire used tactical IED. Please work. Thank you. One shot. I'll take what I can get. And Lao's fainted. Russian Empire gained 319 EXP points. Now it's sent out the Modives. Modives. Let's not change out our country balls when I press my accident here. And Cliffman David sent out Modives. Modives. Level 17. Water poison type. Use blast. Oh, they might do some damage. They use a wire trap. Great, that's a problem. Russian Empire is paralyzed. It can't move. Unfortunately, it was already paralyzed, I think. They use wire trap again. Come on. Use blast. Hit them a little bit. And they got nearly one shot. Maldives use single jam. It missed, though. Come on. Use it. They're still paralyzed. Great. You just have to use the one move. Use blast. They use single jam once more. It confused the Russian Empire. And now we're getting hit with like two status effects. Confused, and we can't use the blast move. It hurt itself in its confusion. It did like what? 10 damage there. Modives used wire trap. Great, and that's like 2 HP loss. And we're snapped out of confusion. Blast is going to take out this Modives. Modives. And that's going to be it for this team. We're up against 382 EXP points for Russian Empire. Cliff Mandate was defeated. What does he have to say? I burnt out. 544 Poké Dollars for that. He was fired up. Now he's burnt out. What does he have to say? What does he have to say? I'm going to cool off for a bit. Yeah, you do that. Let's keep exploring here. Heal up our... Go to our backpack. Heal up our... Our... No. Not with that. Not with the first aid kit. That's like... Desperate. Our last resort. Even though we have like five of them. Just use a happy meal on the Russian Empire. That one should do it. Now let's continue on. I need to actually apply some status healing items here. Paralysis. What do we use for that? Icy Hot. Use Icy Hot to get rid of that paralysis for the Russian Empire. They're cured of paralysis now. Okay, let's get going. Fight this person over here, I guess. They're a trainer, right? Yeah, they are a trainer. And this is, you're not afraid of the dark, are you? No, but I keep getting to fight with random trainers, which is a little annoying. And this is, you're challenged by Sir Arabian Saida. And she uses HIMI, which is a, it is a herd island, McDonald Islands. And it is a pure poison type. Just use tactical IED. Even though we only have three more chances to use that move. Unless we get out of this place. HMI, use target lock. Target lock, and that's going to be annoying. Great, so use blast once more. Use the blast, take him out. That's done. I hope we can find our way out of the Tomb of Anubis eventually, because it's just it's attritional warfare for me. Serbian Sayida was defeated. She says, yikes. We got 1,260 Poké Dollars for winning. What she had to say. There's really nothing to be afraid of in here, I hope. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Keep looking around. What is this? There's something with some grass near it. What are you? Oh, it's a Lichtenstein. I want to catch you this time. Don't. Stay in the town ball this time, please. Protect your Lichtenstein. Don't escape. Just take the blast. And don't escape from the blast. Well, don't escape. They use Poison Kiss. Great. That's a pain. And that's going to be... The Russian Empire fell asleep. Great. Now let's use the go to Pokeball and Town Ball, whatever. Throw the Town Ball at them. 
Stay in there, looking son. Don't escape from the from the town ball. Stay in there. I want you on my team, or at least to have you in my collection. I want you in my flag book, which is this ROM hacks Pokédex. They were called Lichtenstein. It's gonna be added to the flag book now, and they're added to the Pokédex. Lichtenstein. Boring country. More like Lichtenstein. More like Lichten Super Lame. Number 124. Name the Lichtenstein. No. Lichtenstein was transferred to the storage in the PC, okay? Lichtenstein is an interesting place, even though not many people realize it even exists in Europe, probably. What's this? This is a training battle. Getting around is easy, as long as you've got a torch. I don't have a torch, but I'm doing just fine. What do you mean? And they're going to have... I wonder if they have fire types based on their dialogues. Serabian Itamar. He's going to use Modibs. No, he has Modibs, which is a water poison type. A lot of Serabians seem to like using Modibs. Modibs. And let's take it out, though. Use Blast. Use Blast here. Due to, due to its Russian Empire's asleep. Great, we need to probably cure that. Why did I not fix that before we ran into this guy? I should have fixed that. They woke up from their sleep. Use Blast now. Take care of them. Nearly one shot the Modibs. Use Signal Jam and missed. And the Modibs is going to be defeated because of that miss right there for sure. Level 18 Modibs has been forced to faint by this level 32 Russian Empire. We gained 405. 405 EXP points, though, and the Russian Empire is now going to be level 33. Great. Does it learn anything, or just its stats go up? They just go up. Sir Arabian Itamar was defeated. What does he have to say? He says, lights out. And we got a 1,080... 1,080... What does he have to say? It's a good thing I bought, brought some spare batteries. You have a torch. I guess you mean like a flashlight type of torch. Trainer battle here. Great. It's much cooler in here than outside. I agree. But... We got 1,080 Poke Dollars in the last battle. Now we're fighting Serabian Mulazim. Mulazim. He has Ecuador. Oh, interesting. I haven't encountered an Ecuador yet. Oh, wow. The bird is sort of... I guess it became friends with a bird. It's a flying poison type. Wow. Use maybe flank? I gotta use flank. I have a steel type move. I'm not really using all that much. And I have tons of PP for it. It does like half damage. I use signal jam. Great. That's great. Russian Empire became confused. Use flank again. I just need to use it so badly. And they're confused. Don't hit yourself, please. It hurt itself in its confusion. Yes, it did hit itself. Great. Ecuador used to cry. Stop lowering our stats, I beg of you. Our defense harshly fell. Use flank. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Use flank. Hit them, please. Take them out. There we go. Take out Ecuador. They're out of the picture. That level 18 Ecuador has been forced to fame. Russian Empire gained 658 EXP points. Malazim is sending out Cook Isles. We're not changing country balls. We'll just have to use the... Use Tactical IED on Cook Isles, which is purely a poison type. No flying stuff here, like with Ecuador. And the Russian Empire snapped out of its confusion. We used Tactical IED, and down goes Cook Isles. Nearly. And now it uses Embargo. It's a little pointless to use a stat debuff like that when the battle is nearly over. But you do you, Cook Isles. I do like your chef hat. Use Blast. The normal time move. Take care of them. We started out with Blast. We just kept it all this time. And we got 240 EXP points. What does Serabian Molazim, Molazim has to say? He says, I still got burned. And we got 1,140 Poké Dollars. He says now, it may be nice and cool, but this place is still pretty eerie. I agree. Now I just gotta figure out where to go. Up here, maybe? No, this ain't it. Go this way. Over here, possibly. Is this right? That's a swap swashbuckler type trainer. There's just so many people to fight here. I just don't have enough. It's like an endurance challenge. It really is. This is a bullet the bullet toya. I gotta retreat. I could probably do this easily if I had to. Okay, this doesn't go anywhere. I need to turn around. I'm not gonna fight that random swash swashbuckler trainer or this bullet the toya because I already caught one. I have so many, only so much PP to use, and I'd like to use it on objective-oriented objective, objective -oriented areas. So let's leave this area. I don't want to fight that random trainer. Don't see me. Don't pay no attention to me. Wild Country Ball. Who is this? This is a Lichtenstein. I uh, got a Lichtenstein. I don't need another, another one. I need to leave this battle as well. Retreat, please. I'm just trying to preserve my stuff, my moves. That's what I got to do, essentially. Go up these steps. We're going to have a battle here, though. I don't have to fight some random wild country ball. This is Bovet Toy again. This, they're all like the same thing. Keep running to the same stuff on this level. I need to run though. I don't want to fight this retreat. Don't want to fight these wild country balls. Fight this trainer though. They're going to see me. They run up to me of course. 
And the gold is mine. No, it isn't. It's mine, clearly. Fight this person here. Great, you were challenged by Sir Arabian Rejoya. She sends out Guernsey, which is an electric type. Let's use... Russian Empire takes the stage. Use what? Use... Let's use Blast, because we have to, really. I only have one more PP type move. Well, I mean, they use Taser, which is like a Thunderbolt-like move. Do a little bit of damage. Also calls Paralyzation for the Russian Empire. Great. Now we're using Embargo. I mean, we only have one PP left for the Tactical IED. That's why I gotta be careful in choosing what I use it for. So let's just try to use Blast. It can't move due to being paralyzed. Great. Use Blast again. Try to use it now to use Taser once more. Stop trying to paralyze the Russian Empire constantly. Guernsey. I beg of you, stop. Okay, Blast Land, and that's gonna be the end of this battle here with this trainer. Guernsey fainted. We got 403 EXP points. Serabian Rajaya was defeated. She says maybe sharing isn't so bad. Women got 1,380 Poke Dollars. Yes, you should have decided to share that gold, and I won't have a, s a silly battle for no reason. Well, I got Poke Dollars out of it, at least. Let me heal my country. Go to backpack. Do we have anything that restores PP at all? I need to do that. Anyway, I don't have nothing for it. I think I'm just stuck using what I have for the Russian Empire. Just give them two Happy Meals. We're going to be out of Happy Meals now. We've been using tons of health items on them. Maybe I could try using one of these other country balls in the field just so they get a chance to be useful besides just sitting in my backpack. I won't, I won't let you get between me and the treasure. And this is some Serabian type trainer. He's going to send out what? He has one. No, he has two. Serabian Motaz. He has two country balls. He has Luxembourg. This is the time to use tactical IED. Russian Empire takes the stage. And are we sure we don't want to use a different country? Let's bring out a different country. That's an ice type, so let's just use the Cocoa Isles. I'm not sure what the Cocoa Isles can even do, but we're going to use them because I don't want to have to use the moves for the Russian Empire constantly. 35, Arctic Blast. That's ice type move versus normal. And is Cocoa Isles going to be destroyed by that? They nearly got knocked out of the battle already, but their attack fell regardless. Use Blast, I guess. Yeah, use Blast. It did a little bit of damage. Luxembourg uses Cover Winner, and that's going to destroy Coco Isles, I think. Caused them to faint, probably. It did, yeah, critical hit. Critical hit, indeed. Great, so what do we do here? I think I have an escape rope. I may, I may have to do it. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. We got a... Let's send out the Russian Empire, see how far along we can get with that. I don't want to have to use an escape, I don't want to have to use something to leave this area and come back here, but I'm also a little annoyed how little PP I have left to even use my moves, at least for Russia, because we need tactical ID. We really do. It's like our tried and true move. I need to just have more variety though in my attacks. Luxembourg uses Embargo, let's use Blast when we can. Russian Empire's defense fell, we use Blast though, Luxembourg's going to get hit. And they are down. They were an ice type. What's next? 219 EXP points from that. Sir Arabian Motaz is sending out Guernsey. We're not going to change out country balls. It's another Guernsey. Great. So, second one of those. Motaz is. Yeah, there's Guernsey. Level 18. Use Blast. I mean, what are you going to do? Try to paralyze Russia again? You already did it before. It has its status effect already. The Russian Empire is paralyzed. It can't move. Great. So, that's terrible. Use Blast. They use Taser again. Which does like, what? Does like five damage. Blast still lands though. That takes away. It just wipes out Guernsey. I guess I got a critical hit there, maybe. Guernsey fainted. And we gained 315 EXP points for the Russian Empire. Good. Sir Raby Motaz was defeated. And he says, I forfeit 1,080 Poke Dollars for us. What else does he say? The treasure is yours, traveler. Go right ahead. And I gotta find this treasure once I ever get out of all these fights I'm having with these people. That's a Lichtenstein. I mean, I gotta retreat from this fight. I can't fight every little thing. I also need to probably apply an item to get rid of that paralyzation status effect. Yeah, paralyzed. Paralyzed. Yeah, okay, I gotta get rid of that, though. Run this way. There's somebody there. How do I even get up to that ladder? Oh, no, I didn't even go the right way. I gotta go around the long way there. I don't wanna fight every single trainer I run into if I don't have to. If there's optional fights, I'm not gonna fight them. Sorry. You know, it's not as much money. If I do that, I just, I can't constantly fight everyone if I'm going to preserve the, where is it at? Icy Hot. I have three of those, used on the Russian Empire. If I want to preserve my Country Ball's ability to fight, I can't fight everyone here in the Pyramid, in the Tomb of Anubis, I mean. Go 
Go this way. Okay, we have something here. This is a Tajikistan. We have a Tajikistan already in the flag book in our storage. Or they're on our team, I'm not sure. But they're poor, they're a pure poison type. They have a fearsome ability which lowers attack from the get-go. You gotta cut into attack stats. Let's retreat though, I don't wanna fight you. Manage to retreat, good job. So let's go this way, this way, this way. We have a trainer battle up ahead, I know we do. And they're gonna charge at us. This is heading to the final four? I don't think so. And this is, who is this? This is a, this is, you are challenged by Sir Arabian Severe. So, Severe, yeah, he has Martinique, which is a water type. Russian Empire is going to have to use Blast against them. That's the plan. Level 33 versus level 17. We have 13 PP left for Blast. Just take him out with that. Martinique used Single Jam, which is a stat debuffing move. And they should use a water type move instead. You know, that made the Russian Empire confused. Don't hit yourself, please. Do not hit yourself. I repeat, they use Blast. It works. They do not hit themselves somehow. Good job, Russia. Good job. Well done. Now, this guy's going to send out something else. He has three, two country balls left. I mean, Severe's going to send out... Not sure. I didn't exactly read. I'm just going through stuff fast. He's sending out Marnik again. Let's use Blast if we don't hit ourselves. Okay, he snapped, the Russian Empire snapped out of confusion. That'll be fine. Blast is going to be used, and it nearly one-shots Marnik, who's going to use Embargo, which is a stat-decreasing move. I don't know why you're not being very aggressive. If you were more aggressive, you probably would have won against me. But Martinique is down. Terrific. And we're going to keep pushing. Russian Empire gained 403 EXP points. They're going to be level 34 soon. And they're sending out Modibs. Don't worry about changing country balls. And Sir Raven Severe are sending out Modibs. Okay, they're level 17 poison type. Use Blast on them. I wonder if there's any items to restore PP if you... Don't have to go if you don't want to go to a Poke Center, it's whatever. But Modibs fainted out after a one shot attack, and Russian Empire gained 382 EXP points. Good job, now it's level 34. Terrific, now it's trying to learn Bombing Run. Russian Empire can't learn more than four moves, so what do we get rid of? I mean, we don't use Flank that much, so let's actually change out of that. It's a fire type move. We don't really use the. We don't use it as power of what? 95. Wow. Covered. The enemy is covered in high strength bombs. Let's take out flank. I don't think I'll use flank. I use tactical PP and blast often, but I don't really use flank. Russian Empire is going to forget. It's going to forget what? It's going to forget the flank move. Now it's going to learn bombing run, which is a fire time move. So we took out one steel move and replaced it with a fire time move. Sarabian Severe says, "All right, you can pass." We got 1,020 Poké dollars from that. And with that move learned, hopefully the Russian Empire can continue fighting on till we get to the end of this area. This is the final floor for the Tomb of Anubis. What's here? I don't really know. Okay, this is a Flag Knight confrontation. We fought the Flag Knight in, I think, part, what, part three? No, not part three, part four, five, six, somewhere around that range. She says, if you excuse me, I, ugh, I recognize you. The insolent brat I encountered on Pascula Island. I was hoping the hostile jungles of Southern Panada would teach you your much needed lesson, but it seems as though you require re-education to arms. And the Flag Knight is an, is an entity we fought before. They're kind of like a rival. I think they are anyway. But we are challenged by the Flag Knight. They have three country balls. We're going to send out Shing. They have that on Pascula Island. It's a fire type. We have a more powerful fire type easily, so just destroy them with Bombing Run. And I hope that's really good. Bombing Run is going to be, oh, crazy beautiful. Is it going to do much damage? It does a lot of damage. It's not very effective, but it's still one-shot Ching. Okay, Ching is fainted. Now it's gained 195 experience points. Russian Empire has. Flag Knight is sending out England, which is a water type. Did not change country balls. England is a level, what, level or level 13. That's going to be easy, actually. Just use Blast. Blast may be, out, may be able to one-shot them. It's a huge level difference. England's going to use Strike. Normal type move. Doesn't do nothing. Critical hit, though. So have 71 HP left for the Russian Empire. So down goes England. And what's next? What do they have next? Russian Empire gained 183, 183 experience points. Flag Knight is sending out Tonga. And we're not going to change country balls here. Keep pushing onward. Attack, attack, attack. Flag Knight is sending out Tonga, which is a water type. We're going to use Blast. Level 14 Tonga is going to get hit by the Blast move. It's nearly a one-shot to use Channel Mines. Water type move deals some damage to the Russian Empire. We're going to be super effective due to the typing of the Russian Empire, since it's fire. Use Blast. There goes Tonga. So they're gone. Flag Knight's team has been defeated. 
What does the flagman have to say for themselves? They say, they have to say, what do you say? How dare you? Okay, we got 560 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay, good. And what do you say now? I tire of these games. You will give me the respect I am deserved as the greatest trainer in Terra. Terra is the region this ROM hack takes place in. Or you will fall. Get out of my way. And there goes to the Flag Knight. So that battle is over with. Let's continue on, on to here. See where this goes. Do we have a cutscene here or do we have the final floor? As it's called, go up to here. And who is this? Who are you? By the Nile, what do we have here? A challenger? So it be, young one. My infectious charm and paralyzing wit have carried me across many empires in my time, and now they'll carry me to victory. Let's dance. I have a fight with someone? I thought, oh no. Who are you? Who are you? You are challenged by Tomb Guard Cleopatra. Is she a gym leader? A flag master? She has Ecuador. Ecuador, well, it's Ecuador, so they're a normal flying type. Russian Empire, you're going to carry us here. You better do it. If they have a water type, we're done. We're to use bombing run. I try to win this as fast as possible. I hope it pays off to have the Russian Empire to be as strong as possible. They use convert. Not going to do too much, though, I hope. Level 25, though, so it could possibly one damage. That's not good at all. You know, it converted some of our troops, apparently. Use, I guess, blast, because we can. Down goes Cleopatra's Ecuador. And now to use open hand slap. Ouch. Did like six damage. Use blast again. Tomb guard Cleopatra. Use panacea, which restores a lot of HP. Great. So it restored the health of that. Now use blast. Do a little bit of damage. Now use bombing run and take them out once in a while. This Ecuador and its bird companion is going to disappear, hopefully, with that move. With the power of bombing run, it was a critical hit, so they're gone. What is next here for us to take on? I didn't know we were going to have like a Flagmaster type battle here. 915 experience points. And Tomb Guard. Tomb Guard Cleopatra is sitting out Egypt. Will we change out country balls? No, we're going to fight Egypt with the Russian Empire. And Egypt is. What is, what is their typing? Cleopatra is using Egypt. That's very fitting. It's an electric type. Okay, let's use Bombing Run. And hope it's enough to overpower them. They dealt a little bit of damage there. Use Bombing Run. We'll just spam Bombing Run in order to win. I hope it works. And will it? It nearly does. Let's use it again. Just use Bombing Run. We learned this move. Now Egypt used Charge. And is that going to be able to do anything? I mean, they're charging up an attack, but we're not going to let them charge it up and use it. We use Bombing Run once more. Just burn them with the bombs, please, Russia. Egypt is going to go down now. That's all of Cleopatra's team. I don't know what type of trainer Cleopatra is. She's clearly like a, we got 802 experience points for being at Egypt as the Russian Empire, with the Russian Empire anyway. But anyway, Cleopatra is clearly a specially named trainer, so I don't know what her deal is, big time. Tomb Guard Cleopatra was defeated. She says, my my, it would seem I've been defeated. Congratulations. Lemon got 400 Poke Dollars. What else do I get out of this? Come on now, what is this? I must admit, I was not expecting you to overcome this trial, but far be it from me to argue with facts. Shay smiles upon you this day. For your sake, I hope that you manage to remain in his favor. You likely heard from the various plunderers of this ancient resting place that a treasure lies within. It belongs to you now. Treasure it. We learned HM01 Asian Orange. We can cut things down. It's cut. It's basically that. And we put HM01 in the TM case. Good, so we can leave now. There's little time to waste. Be on your way and may Mutt be with you and your country balls. So we can leave here now. Is there a fast way to leave or no? I mean, I guess we have a we have an item here called the escape rope. We could use that. Use it. Maybe using this here isn't such a good idea. Whatever. I'm going to end part... What is this? Part 9? Part 9, I think. Where's it? Part 10. Whatever. I'm going to end this part of the Country Ball Catch em All playthrough here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.